Mr. Hot Nine And this is my elevation time Yeah Yeah Me and this table got a relationship that is based on respect. People will say, how you got a relationship with the table? Real simple. Relationship means how close I am to the table. And since I respect this table, I'm not just gonna run up on the table and bump my shin on the table. I'm gonna be careful and respect the table. Because the table's not gonna move and give a fuck. In relationship to where I'm in, I am, it's not moving. So when we think about that, now let's replace that with a, another, no, living being. So instead of a table, it's another living being. So I'm going to respect where you stand. Instead of running up on you, because guess what? Running up on you, I can still get hurt. Even though I might think, oh, I can move this table. Okay, you still going to get hurt though. And the table might not even, the table ain't going to care. And the other person, or that other human being, or that other mind so entity you ran up against they might not care either I'm th you know that really just broadens the whole concept of relationship because so, you think about all the things that you're close to mm -hmm. start to think about all the things that are close to you mm -hmm. including things that are not good for you right. you know is it because you is it because you you respect them or is it because you what is the reason well, I think a lot of things is in, in certain. We it's funny because we kind of started this conversation talking about we're not robots. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're automatons. Our, <laughs> 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 See, everyone want to believe. We want to believe so bad that we're unique. We're so unique. We're not. <laughs> not very unique. Mm -hmm. That's one of the issues that we're having to accept. See, that's a lie that's been told to us. Because if you knew that if somebody else actually thinks like me, move like I move, and certain thoughts that you may have never voiced to anyone else, it's actually in a book. Someone wrote that shit down because you're not unique. You might have your own little perspective. I can't see the color blue like you see it or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to draw my G this way with a curve to the left, and you might swing it to the right. You know, those are incidental things. But when it comes down to who we are in the core, when we by ourselves and we thinking about what our purpose, why we're here, each of us have a set of code and a set of um, program, fate, destiny, um, whatever you want to call it. Call it predestination. Because it only makes sense. Why? Because everything else in our life has that same order. Everything else is set up in that same order and fashion. It has a cause and effect to it. Why not us? Everything else around you has that. This table has a, <laughs> got a purpose. But you know, that makes sense. What do you think the purpose is? I know what mine is. What is your purpose? Mine is to make people See without seeing. See without seeing. Let me explain. In this world where we live in right now, it always has been like the, the image is king. What we see determines and shapes our world. So we're constantly being fed images. Constantly being fed images. Constantly, wherever we go, we're inundated. Home, in the grocery store, gas station, school, and then now it's right in your hand. You ain't got to go nowhere. It's wherever you at. You got it. The internet, the mobile web. So it's constantly giving you images. So how our mind works, how our mind works is, we first have a thought, then an image, appears. and that image once focused on and keep it appearing, is how it brought into fruition. How would this table be here unless I, someone first thought about it, pictured it in their mind, brought a design, and went to work bringing it into them? 
into fruition or into material that's material or fruition is a good word. Anyway, let me get the picture. Pun intended. <laughs> So, the picture, <laughs> the big picture. So as an artist, right, is to make people aware of this. Like, okay, so you can, you can paint your own picture. You want your life to be what it is. You don't like it, erase it, paint over it, it, paint something else. Use your imagination as your biggest tool. That's your biggest tool. And so, yeah. When I was a kid, let me give you an example. This is how I, when I was a kid, I didn't never, I didn't play with toys. You know why? Because I didn't want to use your imagination. I have my own damn imagination. <laughs> That's dope. Because guess what? Someone sat down and imagined Superman. Spider Man, that all the people, they imagined. And Why did you they, imagine? You know, I had plenty different, you know, uh, characters that I imagined. So I can imagine greater. My <laughs> my superhero is better than theirs. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's how I feel. My superheroes are better than yours, and they look like me. So why do I need to draw? I never drew Superman. So I, drew Batman. I never drew better than me. What? That's your imagination. I got plenty of my own imagination that I can bring into the world. That's what I'm here for. That's my purpose. I know mine. So, you know why I know? Because I've always been doing it. So, you can't say we have a time to time. Because even when I feel that I should be doing something else, I'm painting, drawing, creating something. Even when I say, man, I should need to go over here and do this. There's a whole bunch of money over here. I'm going to go to That's not what I'm here for. Because then I realize I am the money. Hmm. I am the money. Yeah, I am money. Mm. So, as a creator, that's what? The money ain't there until I create it. Even if it's a job, say that I go to work at 9 to 5. If I don't get my ass up in the morning, get ready to go there, how could I go there to make the money? So, in the end of the day, I still made the money, didn't I? So, I am money. As mm. you are the creator. The creditor. The creator, the creditor, the principal. Whatever you want to call it. Who's the debtor? Well, I think the thing is, there's no who, it's more as a what. Okay. <laughs> uh, what is a debtor as opposed to who is a what? Who is a what or what is a who? <laughs> start to describe things and look at it as this um, basic accounting principles are based on gap no but, yeah but it goes back to this, it, all of these things have a, a, a correlation right so like I dig it zero is everything mm -hmm. well in order to get if you ever work at a any restaurant or anything, if you worked on a cash register, you had to bring that account back to zero. You had to bring, you had to strike, that's what it is, that's what they call it. You had to strike the register, and it had to be zero. You had to, whatever you started with, it was zero on the register. You had to come back to zero when you did all the receipts that match. Mm -hmm. That's how accounting is across the board. I mean, when you first why? because as a being came out of the and everything goes on. Like a soccer game. Whenever they score a goal, they go back to the center of the circle. <laughs> right? That's what it is. So that's still it's all based on that same concept. Circle is zero. So that's what the nine is. The nine the nine is the zero with a the tail. There you go. Because it's constantly spiraling, creating It's a spiral. And, and taking at the same time. Yeah. Destroying building, You're destroying looking at a spiral system. from the top down take these concepts and you start looking at how you can practically put these things together and start making sense of it. Yeah. And once you once you start to understand who you are in the process, you start worrying about the rest of the bullshit and you just get busy doing what you need to do. You know what I I identify it in the language a lot. 
And um, it's like we're talking about um, husband mm -hmm. and husbandry. <laughs> and a husband is a farmer. Correct. A farmer of what? Animals, livestock. But farmers also farm produce. In, in particular, a husband is someone who farms livestock. That's oh, livestock. Is. Okay. If you go look at the etymology <laughs> of the word. So who is the livestock? Or what is the livestock? It's called animal husbandry. So what's the livestock? Is well, that the, the, the animals or is it us? Yeah, you know, state farm. Oh. <laughs> who state farm? <laughs> who state farming? Yeah, well, state farm, who they insuring? Yeah, who they insuring? Animals? Animals. Yeah, Livestock. State. And then you got all state. You know, yeah, they got good hands. <laughs> good hands? <laughs> and what guy could say? Then you got, uh, what's the other one? Uh, the lizard? No, no, no. The prudential. See, people don't even see. They put it right in your face. The prudential was the that rock. You see how the prudential Yeah, rock? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the shepherd would go on the top of the rock and have the sheep at the bottom. So at night, he can sit and have watch over the sheep and see where he, and, and they're against the rock. So if any predators will come around, he can see before they get there. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So no. there's a reason why they have the prudential. <laughs> Cause you were the sheep at the bottom of the rock. Yeah. They're looking over you. So yeah, yeah it's the it's the people, it's the sheep. Sheep. So yeah, people who don't understand that is the what and not the who. Is the who is the what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The who is the what? Okay. The who what is, is the, the who? what? The what is the who? <laughs> exactly. It's the same shit. It's like it's a fractal, man. But so it's like it's one thing that's manifesting itself as everything, right? right. So you, this is you, you're talking to yourself. I'm talking to myself. I'm watching myself, watching yeah, you yeah, on a screen. Before we get so out of the, because <laughs> most people ain't gonna be able to do that shit. They can't process that, that. That's not mathematics. See, this is the thing, right? When you start. <laughs> There's a certain thing called practical knowledge. That's the shit I like. Because I am I can think about crazy shit all day and dream it up. But then it's like, okay, I just got to eat. I got to have, you know, a place to stay. You remember in the Matrix when the nigga got tired in the training thing? And he's like, you think that's air you're breathing? Yeah. <laughs> Niggas got well, it. guess what? That was in the Matrix. I remember outside the Matrix, he... Uh, yeah, they was breathing air. They were still in the matrix. All of them. Even the niggas inside. <laughs> yeah. They were still even in the ma even that. Cause how could the, the how could the computer come at the the design is the real world? How could the artificial world get into the, the real world? Hmm? Yeah, you see what I'm saying? That's that's the that's the matrix. No, the, look, it's already there's it there can't be no artificial without the official. Exactly. So it came out, it's member zero of everything, right? Yeah, it's just so, a balance, so it's the, the balance. So the artificial came out of the, the old official. So yeah, it makes sense, don't it? So that's why the matrix can be outside, because it's in the official, it's artificial, because it came from from us, we created it. Exactly. So if you created but, something, but it's like, it had to come out of you. It but look, come, at the same it time, been outside of you and you created it. At the same time, <laughs> when the people in the real world go into the matrix, they're saying what they're doing, they're doing is not real. It's like they're doing impossible shit, right? They just they just run a code and all of a sudden they know all the languages, <laughs> right? Because it's, it's it's like. But the thing is, you take um, uh, hyperbole, because that's what it is, hyperbole. And we take symbolism, and then we try to make it, um, you know, real or something like that. Or, <coughs> no, all it's, it's, every, it's all a of it. Movie, be entertained. Yes, exactly. Yeah. It's a movie, but it's like. Movie, but guess what? The um, movie was it came out. Aesop's Fables. Huh? Aesop's, yeah, exactly. I, I read those too. Okay, those did you? Good. Did you actually believe that there was a wolf that was wearing? Grandmother's clothes. Yes. 
You got them as friends in your life? No, there was not a wolf. <laughs> that's a that's the symbolism. It was symbolism. It's just that's what I'm saying. That's the symbolism. That's so what I'm it's like so, a la it's the language. So, the language you shouldn't so take Mr. it literal. Smith, so so let's let's get some, let's get it real. Mr. Smith is same as the fucking wolf in Grandma's clothing who met Little Red and Riding Hood. Same equation. You know, so like for this time period, we're not gonna be. We're not trying to hear about no wolf. Walking on two legs. We didn't hear that dumb shit. No, but you, yeah, but, but you, but you hey, talk about it. Somebody in the computer, because that's what we at. That's where we are. Yeah. Someone coming through a computer system, we get logged in. Yeah, we can dig that and we can connect with that because that's our reality. So you know, that's the, why it had to be given to us in that form. Some people. The way, the, the way we talk in, um, in, the, in, in Jamaica or in Africa or in Europe or wherever people are from other than American and South American, you know. Just all over the world, all the different voices, right? We say the same thing using different expressions, right? We all don't say the same words. But, so some people speak that symbolism. Just like you have some people, they can't use their mouth, so they use their hands, they, they, they give signs. Mm -hmm. And those signs mean something, they, they form sentences, they become even songs. They become feelings that they're transmitting with these signs. So the symbolism in the language People speak that. So if, if, you, if you're in the street and a nigga say, yo, that nigga is a wolf, right? You know what that mean. Right. It's just a language. So when they're talking about the wolf, it's not to be taken literal. Right. It's for you to transliterate it now and, and apply it to the very existence. So, you know, we call it a fable because that's just a category to put things that we say that shit is not real. Okay, so now it's it, it's it's like no, don't, no, don't don't no, don't no, it's it's not to be factored, no, but it's art. It all into a box where all stuff it's art. Sense. It's just like how you you how you you paint so your let pictures. You, let me show you how it all makes sense now. Yeah, right. Because yeah, it's great to talk about this shit, but why does it make sense now? Because all of us who live here in this country, we have an artificial entity, a person <laughs> that is being used to do everything we got to do in order to survive out here. You ain't got that, you're not eating. It's that simple. So, and most of the people think it's them. So you literally are plugged into the matrix. Yeah. You literally are. Because guess what? If you don't have this name or this number, you're not getting your <laughs> lights on. You're not going to be able to get a job. Yep. You're not going to be able to eat. Yep. Don't have a place to stay. Right? Pretty right? much. So, but <clears throat> unless you know the playing play inside the system. The system again came out of us. Yeah. Without us and we the system. That's right. So we keep forgetting that all apart. You can't anything coming from you can't be superior to you. It's the same entity. So if it's superior, if it's perfect, who would, would make the best trap for you? Well what? Who would make the best trap or the best puzzle for you? Who you think could do that? Make the best trap? Trap, like something to trap you, to, to trick you. Who would make the best trick? Who would write the best mystery? Who knows you bet best that could, you know, come up with an idea that, you know, somebody would say, yo, only some, you know, nobody else could come up with this. Who, who, who would that person be? Yourself. Yourself. You're tricking yourself. So it's a, it's, it's, that's, a part of, that's a part of the whole thing. You're not. You're, you're, you're supposed to know everything and forget it, and then remember it piece by piece in in different entities, in different as aspects of yourself that exist as all the people that you have access to in the world. They have pieces of the information, so you you got to form networks, and when you grow your networks, they become corporations, and those corporations eventually control countries. You see what I'm saying? And they run they run everything that happens on, on the plane. It's a system. The whole thing is a system and it speaks it speaks out it speaks a language and the language is written you can read it This life What is this life brother What you make it period What can you make it whatever you want it to be What I'm saying is is whatever you want it to be so now if you don't have a want, you don't have the actual design, you don't have a set definite objective, you get what you get. You get whatever come your way because you haven't chose. 
But yeah. you still have the ability. You're still infinite potential waiting to happen. That's just what it is. But you got to choose which way you want to go. Mm -hmm. Or someone's going to choose for you. Cause that's it. It's still going to be used. That energy still needs to be used. Somehow it ain't going to be wasted. You know, when niggas get so mad. If you think you laying down, you ain't doing nothing, guess what? Someone's getting paid off of the energy. <laughs> Every single day. <laughs> Constant. Even if you think you beat the system, you really die. Cause you get beat in the head because you don't even know your whole full potential. You're not maximizing it. So they still go ahead. Chill over there. You good. That's why nobody gonna deal with mess with you because they're making more money by you not even moving around. You're a battery. Mm -hmm. You're plugged in. So it. All this shit don't. Look, literally, this is not as funny as literally it runs off our shit. Literally, bro. Like, yo, the lights, all this stuff. When we are feces, when we use a rep bathroom, our feces <coughs> goes to the refineries, the sewage plants, water uh, plants, and they send all the sludge to feces out, and they send it, because it's methane gas, and they send it to the electric company, so that's what they use. For the lights. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> Literally. We, 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 we batteries. No, we're just sitting around. We just radiating. We like, we like little uh, fusion, you know, nuclear power plants walking around. Black people or oh, just all people? Thing is, and just think about it, like, it's like anything else. If we stop paying attention to it, there's no way. If we don't go to this particular store for whatever reason, that store gonna close it. Yep. So was it those people that had the store open, or was it the customer? Yeah. Okay. So as long as we're, you know, uh, buying into it, it's gonna exist. Yeah. That's what it is. As long as we buy into it, shit. Yeah. As long as we say, oh, okay, yeah, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. You're not going to imagine nothing else. That's on you. That's what you decided. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's the other thing you got to understand. That's nothing wrong with that. That's just what you decided, though. That's real you know shit. Sure. Maybe you get it right next time. Get it right, get it right, get it right. Nigga know it, so niggas ain't coming, bro. <laughs> uh, yeah. Last time you got there. So tell us about said, these. What's these all about? At the, at the right. <laughs> get ready for a next little fashion show coming up. I ain't the actually ain't even little, it's a big creative canvas. Shit, huh? When did you do these pieces? Some of these I think I posted all these between you today and yesterday. Okay. Oh, I see that shit. I see that shit. Yeah. I'm about to put a man down to get that jacket on my face. Yeah. Next thing. These are female, female arm yeah. shorts. They call them pum pum shots. Mm -hmm. No, body rider. <laughs> we used to call them body rider. They call them booty shorts in America. <laughs> these ain't even that short. They ain't even that short, yeah. Not even. These are, these, they might be too long for these guys nowadays. Shit. <laughs> what the fuck, LVC?
He's another one. He's a female too. I'm, I'm uh, this one ain't, 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 ain't lit up. No, this one is on there. Eh, not really. Yeah, you see? Look. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see it now. I see it now. It's just like sprinkles. Is it saying anything? It ain't saying nothing. Mm -mm. You know what it is. <laughs> until you get closed, and you're like, oh, okay, it's not even there until you. Then. So, what are the fashion shows? What's the what's the plan about? What's the plan for the fact? Um, the fashion. What, what does it do? <laughs> All right. Are they, um, does, does it give you exposure? Um, and do you oh, get yeah. the opportunity to sell some clothes after, after the fashion show? Yeah, it's about exposure. It's a test market. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we can say it's hot all day. Who cares? Yeah. That's it. But the public's gonna like it. Yeah. See that? See that? Yeah. Say that shit go bright here. Yeah, I like that black and white. That's a black and white, right? Mm -hmm. I like that black and white, that's still Almost the gray I like that black and white, that's it, yeah, y'all should get some more of those And drip, I put the LVC in black just like that Shit is dope bro, I'm telling you, fire I would just want mine, just like that, just with the LVC Yeah, I'm about to do the other That's it, that's all I would want on it In black I did the, I got someone I just did the Back. But I like how the back is on that. The back look crazy. I mean, the sun won't mess it up. The sun won't mess it up. It won't melt in your hair or nothing. So we gonna make it more, more damn. <laughs> Man, the fucking the sun is so hot, bro. That shit feel like it's melting your skin. I wouldn't be surprised it melt that. So, so hey, that's a ski mask. Yes, sir. <laughs> 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 ski mask, man. Yes, these are France and notes. Yes, these are France and notes. Ski mask. Yes, ski mask. That's another one. Who was supposed to wear these ski masks now? Miles. Don't worry about it. Oh, that's tough. Uh, females only? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is all the only female models you're using? No, we got, we got a couple of female models, but... <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what it looks like. Oh, don't let it light. Don't close it. Watch your eyes now. Oh, that's fire. Yeah, how much do these would go for? How much do you sell these for? Mm -hmm. These are just sharps, show pieces. So none of this stuff has top price tags on it. Dig. We do one of a kind pieces, you know. What All right, I'm saying? So good. Everything is We could, you could do it, but you know, it's it's not like this particular one is gonna be right. Good. Exactly. So yeah. it just depends on what you're looking for. You dig? This might be. This is just a limited run. I could say, oh, it's fifty dollars. Everybody might want it. Now I can't sell it for fifty. I gotta sell it for five hundred. So then I don't put it. I don't put my foot in my mouth. So why would I put it do that? I ain't selling. I ain't selling that. I'm gonna sell an art. There you go. You did? So all of these is one of a kind. I'm selling art right now. So it just happens to be on a mask. Mm -hmm. Happens to be on a hat. But it's art for sure. You did. So I right. you know you walk around, you're like, damn, it's like gonna look like me because I'm tripping. That's what that LBC, you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm tripping. You baby. said in art.